Hello, I am Chandrasekhar. People call me CSK. And through my channel, I am here to tell you about public speaking. I keep getting these questions that we are really nervous of public speaking. We are scared that people will judge us when we open our mouth. And we really don't know how to come across as confident speakers. So through this three-part video series, what I'm here to tell you is every one of us can be good communicators. In fact, we are born communicators. Just go back in your own life and remember those occasions where you expressed yourself. And in the center, at the heart of communication is expression. So before I give more information about how can you get on with public speaking, let me tell you a little bit about my own journey. If I'm talking to you today, it's not that I was born like this and I was communicating ever since. Even I had my own learning, my own ups and downs. And then today I'm here communicating confidently in different forums and to different people. But where did it all start? It started when I actually went into my grade six poetry recitation competition. And when I went into that, believe you me, it was not my decision. It was my mother who enrolled me into a poetry recitation competition. And when I went there, I had a Kannada poem, which I had memorized and I had to speak out in front of a filled auditorium. When my turn came and I walked up onto the stage, I was nervous. I was trembling in my knees. And after the first four lines, I went blank. I tried to re remember, but unfortunately I could not. Three times in front of that full auditorium, I said those four lines and out of shame, because I could not recollect the fifth line, I ran out of the stage into the school playground. I was there sitting and crying uh, for making fool of myself. And suddenly I felt this hand on my shoulder. That was my class teacher from grade six. If I remember her name rightly, it was Miss Yamini. She sat there next to me. She had left that competition and then she consoled me. She put her hand around me and then she said, it's okay, it happens. And she shared with me her own story of how she failed in her school times. When she shared that story, I realized that failing is common and failing is not something which was unique only to me. But then what she said next stayed with me even today. She said, if you don't back yourself, nobody will. And then she held my hand, took me back to that same stage and gave me an entry towards the end of the competition and told me, it's okay, even if I have to pull out the chit from my pocket and read out that poem which I had memorized, but I should not quit. And I did that. Fast forward, that experience of my life created a everlasting impression in my mind. And every time I tremble, every time I fail, I remember that it's not about failing, it's always about quitting. Now, why am I sharing this with you? Is for the simple reason that all of us fail. But what we do after we fail is the question. So friends, in this series, I want to talk to you in simple way as to how each one of us can become effective communicators or for that matter, public speakers. So what I'm going to do is in the first part, I'll talk about three things which you should start to get on with your public speaking journey. In the second part, I will talk about three things which we should stop so that we can get on with our public speaking journey. And the last part of the video series will talk about three things which we will continue to get on with our public speaking journey. So in summary, three things to start, three things to stop and three things to continue. 
In fact, any model you take, it's all about what can I start to become better? What should I stop to become better? And what should I continue to stay better? So I'm following the same framework for public speaking. Now, before I go forward, I want you to tell me that if this is making some sense in your mind, then go ahead and put some comments on that video. Because what you feel at this point in time will not only inspire me, but it will motivate others to watch this video and take some learnings. All right, so let's get started. First thing is my story and the lesson out of that story. Always start by backing yourself because if you don't back yourself, nobody else will. Now, what do I mean by this? Let me decode. Every single time I meet students, they come to me and say that, Sir, we know what to say, but we just don't know how to say it in front of people because we get nervous. Now, let me tell you a secret. Every one of us feel the nervousness before we start speaking. There is nobody who is insulated from that factor of getting nervous. But how do we handle it is a question. So back yourself up. In fact, I will say start talking to yourself. Start telling yourself that you're good, you're great, you can do this. And it may sound very funny, but the truth is your mind listens to your voice. So when you tell yourself you can do it, when you tell yourself that I can actually start talking and I can actually share with people around me what I really feel deep down in my heart, you start talking, forgetting how am I talking? What are they thinking? Am I failing? Are they judging? Am I looking good? Am I looking confident? All of those things will not matter. So start by backing yourself is the first step. Now second, the second thing which you need to do after backing yourself is go out there and tell what you want to tell. What do I mean by this? Share your message. Remember, you don't come to public speaking or you don't want to talk in front of people just because you want to pass some time or you want to engage them and entertain them without any sense. No, you have something very meaningful to share. And if that is as important as you think it is, then it should reach to the people, right? So start by sharing that message. So focus entirely on the message, not on you. Focus on the message and then give your best to tell people what is that message you want to share on that particular day, at that particular time and in that particular context. Now, when you put the entire focus on the message, what you're also doing is you're forgetting about the surroundings. You're focusing on that. It's like, you know, just do an experiment. You're taking a empty glass and say you're participating in a competition where you need to fill it with water to the brim and you need to walk maybe 10 steps. Are you worried about what is happening around you at that very moment? No, you're only worried about reaching that destination with that glass filled with water or for that matter, the lemon and spoon race, which we all played in the childhood, right? So we are focusing on that piece of lemon in that spoon and we want to cross the finish line. Focus on the message with the same intensity. So that's the second thing. Third and the last thing which I would like to tell you to start your journey with public speaking is start becoming friends or start putting yourself in the association of people who want to become public speakers, who want to become better at public speaking. Remember, nothing succeeds like success. So if you have a group of people around you who are talking about improving themselves in public speaking, if you have a group of people who always encourage each other, that will do you a world of good. Take for example, what we do in our daily life when we want to get fit or you want to learn swimming or you want to learn that singing or Zumba or anything, even if you want to solve mathematical problems. If you can't do it alone, the next best thing to do is to get along like-minded people and start doing it with them. What happens? Their energy rubs on to you and your energy rubs on to them. And before you realize, you have a sense of accountability getting built up around. 
and when you are thinking talking feeling and also feeding yourself about how i can be better then the journey becomes that much more easier so let's start with these three simple things and i am sure each one of us can share that message with the larger world because we are all born communicators so till next time start these three things and then catch me on the other end of the video where i talk to you about what are those three things which we need to stop to become effective communicators signing off chandrashekar your public speaking coach Thank you.